That's not it. That's not it. And that certainly is not the perfect one to in boxing. On this video, I'm gonna give you some great tips and pointers to improve the most basic combination in boxing, the one-two. And there is so many people out there training boxing, whether for fights or for fitness, that is getting this wrong. But after watching this video, I'm gonna give you some things that you can work on the very next time you're in the gym to improve this combination. And also, at the end of this video, I'm gonna give you a bonus tip that will help you improve your power by, I would say, 15 to 25% thrown a one two and this tip that i'm going to give you at the end of the video no one really teaches this so make sure you stick around and check that out and guys if you're new here my name's tony jeffries i'm an olympic bronze medalist boxer i'm a former undefeated professional seven times national champion european gold medalist and on this youtube channel i give you lots of boxing education content for free i show you how to punch harder how to punch faster how to get better reactions how to slip punches how to roll punches how to defend you name it it's on this boxing youtube channel so make sure you subscribe hit that thumbs up button because i put a lot of time and energy into these videos okay so let's start off by some of the most common mistakes that i see where people just thrown this basic combination i see it like just basic but i know it's pretty complicated because there's a lot of things to think about what i'm going to tell you in this video so the first mistake that i made on the beginning of the video was this now to the uneducated eye that might look good it might even sound pretty good as well but that is arm punches that's an arm punch one two and this is one of the most common mistakes i'm not getting any power in the punch so if you're doing this, you know, you need, to, you need to stop. And I'm going to show you in a minute exactly how to get the power in the punch and how to do it correctly. Now, the other big mistake I see is, is this. People be coming forward. And when you, when you come forward with a one, two, like this, your, your cross doesn't get fully extended. So you're not getting the power in that punch. And as well, you're coming off balance. So you can't really throw many punches from this position here. So that's another big mistake. Then the other one is this. <laughs> and what I did there, I was holding my breath. Yeah, I see this all the time in the boxing burning here in Los Angeles, where there'll be big, strong men will come to the gym and they've not boxed before, but they think, yeah, I'm strong, I've got big muscles. I can punch this bat really hard. And the gym has got lots of women in as well, so they'll try and punch it even harder. And they'll hold their breath. And they'll be like this. And then within 30 seconds, the hands will start to drop and they'll come down to here. Then at the end of the round, they're like this. This boxing is really, really tough <laughs> because they're not breathing. I've done a full video on how to breathe in boxing. And if you're struggling with breathing, you should definitely check that one out. So yeah, that's another one, holding the breath when thrown the one, two. Yeah, so I've went over a few of the common mistakes right there. So now let's talk about correcting them. So the first one is the, is the arm punches. What we've got to do, we've got to turn our hips and get our weight behind the punch. Just like that there. If you notice, I'm turning the hips. I'm transferring the weight from 50-50. When I punch with and turn my hips, I'm putting 60% of the weight on my front leg there. And now when I put that weight forward, I'm bringing it forward with the punch. And hang on, at the end of the video, I'm gonna show you a great way to get even more weight behind the punch. But for now, this is the basic one too. You wanna to really turn your hips just like that. Now, the other common mistake that I mentioned earlier on is this. People think this is how you get your body weight behind the punch, by leaning into it and punching like this. But that is, like I said, putting you off balance. It's a terrible mistake. And when I see people making this mistake, what I like to do, I like to get them at arm's length from the back, and then I tell them to visualize they've got a line right in front of the face, like this. And then when they're thrown that one, two, their head should never come past this line. It should always stay behind the line, like this. Now with that head behind the line, what I'm, what I'm doing is, ba -ba, I'm here. I'm in a great position to pull this arm back and get back to me boxing. Or I could follow up with another punch, which could be a, ba -ba -ba, a hook. Or I'm in a great position to throw a one, two, one. Throw a one, two, because I'm behind the line. Now I can step forward and blast that one in. This is a great combination, by the way. So, so that one would be like this. Woo! I'm gonna do that one again, I like that one. 
So it's a one, two, one. Ba, ba, ba. Nice. Look at the power in that. The reason why you get so many, much power in that is because I threw that one, two, my hips are parallel, and I'm whipping me weight back with the one, and that's getting the power in the punch. Ba, ba, ba. Nice one. Another thing to perfect this one, two is bringing your hand back to your face. So if I throw that one, two, I throw the one, this one needs to come straight back to me face. A common mistake I see is this, like this, ba, ba, or even this, wah, wah. And we call this firing the bone arrow. When this comes down, we're not firing it. This should still, ba, ba. Hands always up by the face, ba, ba. Yes. Now the next common mistake I want to address is the breathing. We should be exhaling with every single punch that we throw. So it's a, we don't want to have one exhale to two punches. Just feels really awkward. But you want to exhale with each punch. Now what this does, this helps you stay relaxed. And when you're staying relaxed, you can get more speed into the punch. And as well, you're saving some energy. If you're holding your breath and you're not exhaling with each punch, and you're, uh, 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 you know, you're going to get tired fast. We don't want to get tired fast. So exhale with each punch. <laughs> Now that's it there. Now another mistake I see is elbows flaring. You throw a one, two, and the elbows will come up. Very common mistake. We need to keep them elbows in. When we're keeping them elbows in, it's not only making us a smaller target for the person in front of us, but as well, you can really rotate and get more length on the punch. The more length you get on the punch, obviously the more power you're going to get on. If it's up here, you know, it's hard to get the length on the punch, but it's also hard to rotate into it as well. So that right there is how you throw the perfect one too. What we've done, we have fully extended our arms, we've turned our hips, we've breathing with each punch, bringing the hands back to our face, keeping our elbows in, and it'll look something like this. Again. Now I think that was perfect, or near enough perfect, but now what I'm going to show you is how to get maximum power into this punch. Something that no one really teaches you, and no one gives you an understanding about how to get this power in the punch. You might have done it before, but you might not have been taught it and told why you do it. So this is a great way to, like I said, improve the power of the punch. And what you can do the next time you're in the gym, you'll be able to do this. And before I tell you what it is, I just want to quickly tell you about me sponsor for the video. Now don't switch this off because this can really benefit you. And what these are doing, they're giving you it for free. Yes, they're giving you it for, for free. This is Honor to Alpha Brain. This is the supplement I take daily. It helps support my memory, me focus, me creativity to do all of these videos. I absolutely love this. And yeah, like I said, on it, I've given free samples to all my subscribers. What you've got to do, you've got to click the link below and you'll get a free sample of this sent to you if you're USA. If you're outside the USA, it's a little bit different, but still click the link below, check it out. On it, Alpha Brain. It's really, really good stuff. I swear by it. And if you know me, you know I don't talk BS. I say that in every video because it is, it's legit. Also, if you want anything from the On it website, go to onit.com forward slash boxing and you'll save 10% off all of their other supplements. They do everything from proteins to minerals to everyday vitamins you name it it's on there and this company is legit honor.com forward slash boxing okay now let's talk about how to increase this punching power by 15 to 25 percent and what you've got to do is move with it you've got to step and punch at the same time and what this does this gets the momentum of the move behind it it gets your full body weight and more behind it. It's like a truck driving into a wall. You know, it's going at 90 mile an hour. Imagine that, pff, smash into the wall. So how do we do it? So we're going to step, 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 step and punch. And I'm going to show you a demo of this on the back in a sec, but I just want to explain it to you. So if I step with my front foot, I'm going to step my front hand, then step with me back foot, then step with me back hand. So it'll be a ba ba, like this, ba ba. The punch and the foot land at the same time, and the power is ridiculous. Right, here it is. Watch this. <laughs> Look at that, you can see the bag swinging there, how much it is. I'm not pushing the bag. What a lot of people do as well, that's a common mistake I never mentioned, pushing the bag, but I am stepping with it and I'm punching it. I'm gonna show you one more time. Here it is. Now that is some serious power. 
if I say so myself, it's made a lot of noise. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, if you've got one piece of value from this video, please let me know in the comments below and give me a thumbs up because I put a lot of time and energy into these free videos to help you get better at boxing. Also, subscribe if you haven't already. Guys, thank you for watching. I love you.